prokaryotes and eukaryotes. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define prokaryote and eukaryote, explain the structure of prokaryote, explain the structure of eukaryote, differentiate between prokaryote and eukaryote. About 4.5 million years ago, the earth was a barren land without any life on it, since it was devoid of oxygen. Later, life originated in the form of anaerobic bacteria, after which photosynthetic bacteria evolved and consumed the sun's energy to produce oxygen. Since then, several minute microorganisms emerged and were present everywhere in the planet. Do you know these microorganisms play a major role in agriculture sector? By understanding the structure of these microbes, we can have a clear picture of their functions, benefits and harmful effects. Let us begin our exploration of the microbial world around us. Based on the presence and absences of a defined nucleus, living organisms are generally classified into two types, that is prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Unicellular organisms that lack nucleus and membrane-bound organelles are called prokaryotes. Examples Bacteria and blue-green algae Eukaryotes are often multicellular organisms that contain well-defined nucleus surrounded by a nuclear membrane. In simple terms, U means true and carry means nucleus. Examples animals, plants, algae, and fungi. Bacteria are unicellular prokaryotic organisms, believed to be the first life form evolved on the earth about 4 billion years ago. The size of bacteria is very minute, measuring about 2 to 8 micrometers in length and 0.2 micrometers in diameter. Generally, bacteria are found in air, water, and soil and can survive in all extreme conditions such as high temperature, high acidity, high salinity, etc. Structure of bacteria Each bacterium consists of capsule or slime, flagella, hilly or fimbriae, cell wall, cytoplasm, cytoplasmic inclusions, chromosomal DNA and extra chromosomal DNA called as plasmids. Capsule or slime is the outer layer of the cell. Capsule layer is the layer which is tightly attached to the cell wall, whereas slime layer is loosely associated with the cell wall. Basically, the outer layer is composed of polysaccharides and protects the cell from desiccation and phagocytosis. The layer next to the capsule is the cell wall. The cell wall maintains the cell structure and prevents the bursting of cell due to osmotic pressure. Further, the cell wall contains peptidoglycan, which is composed of sugar and amino acids. Based on the composition of cell wall, bacteria are divided as gram-negative bacteria, containing thin layer of peptidoglycan, and gram-positive bacteria, containing thick layer of peptidoglycan. The layer next to the cell wall is the plasma membrane, or cytoplasmic membrane. It acts as a permeable membrane allowing certain molecules to move in and out through the mechanisms of diffusion or active and passive transport. Several metabolic processes occur in this plasma membrane. Do you know mitochondria is absent in prokaryotes? Then how do they respire? The enzymes for respiration and the electron transport system are present in the cytoplasmic membrane through which respiration occurs. The cytoplasmic membrane encloses the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm consists of nucleoid, ribosomes and several inclusions such as metachromatic and starch granules. Each nucleoid contains single double-stranded circular chromosome. Plasmids are double-stranded. Extra chromosomal DNA which is found in the cytoplasm and is capable of replicating independently. Bacteria move in the fluid medium with the help of flagella. Flagella are long, helical thread-like structures containing filament, basal body and hook. Anchoring of bacteria to the host is possible through pili or fimbriae. 
hair-like appendages present in the surface of the cell. Pili are made up of protein called pelin. Bacteria are found in different forms such as rod-shaped, example bacilli, spherical shape, example cocky, spiral shape, example spirillum and coma shape, example vibrio. Bacteria reproduce by sexual and asexual methods. Asexual or vegetative reproduction includes budding, fragmentation and binary fission. Sexual reproduction takes place through transformation, transduction and conjugation method. Certain species of bacteria like Clospridium regenerates through endospores. The prokaryotes paved the way for the evolution of the eukaryotic organisms. During this evolution process, the photosynthetic and non-photosynthetic bacteria incorporated themselves as chloroplast and mitochondria in the evolving eukaryotic organisms. Now let us discuss eukaryotes and its structure in detail. A eukaryote is an organism with a complex cell. Examples include animals, plants, algae and fungi. Let us learn about the important eukaryote fungus in detail. Structure of fungi Each cell of fungus comprises nucleus, membrane-bound organelles in the cytoplasm, enclosed by cytoplasmic membrane and cell wall. The cell wall of the fungus is made up of chitin. The nucleus of the fungus contains nuclear envelope and nucleolus. Cytoplasm contains several membrane-bound organelles, such as nucleus, mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, ribosomes, vacuoles, vesicles, microbodies, endoplasmic reticulum, and lysosomes. Single-celled fungi are called as yeast while multicellular fungi are called as molds. The body of the fungus is called thallus. The plant body thallus contains long filamentous portion called hyphae, which are divided into several compartments by septa. Fungus may be septate, that is, having cross walls, or aseptate, that is, without cross wall. A mass of hyphae is collectively called as mycelium. Reproduction in fungi can occur by sexual method or by asexual method. In asexual method, spores are produced by the mitotic division of the nuclei cell. Whereas in sexual method, reproduction occurs through the fusion of gametes, followed by plasmogamy, karyogamy, and meiosis. Though eukaryotic organisms evolved from prokaryotes, they differ in their structural and functional organization. Let us look into the details which differentiate eukaryotes from its predecessor, prokaryotes. The diameter of a prokaryotic cell ranges from 0.1 to 5 micrometer, whereas the diameter of a eukaryotic cell ranges from 10 to 100 micrometer. Flagella of prokaryotes are small, simple structures composed of the protein flagellin, whereas in eukaryotes, the flagella are long, complex structures composed of the protein tubulin. Cell wall of prokaryotes contains mucopeptide and peptidoglycan, whereas the cell wall of eukaryotes are made up of either chitin or cellulose. Chromatin with histone is absent in prokaryotes, but it is present in eukaryotes. In prokaryotes, the DNA is circular while in eukaryotes it is linear. Plasmids are present in prokaryotes but are rarely seen in eukaryotes. In prokaryotes, the cell membrane may have infolding called mesosome. However, mesosome is absent in eukaryotes. Cell organelles such as mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, vacuoles, lysosomes, chloroplast, centrioles and microtubules are absent in prokaryotes. In contrast, membrane-bound organelles are present in eukaryotes. In prokaryotes, transcription and translation take place in the cytoplasm, whereas in eukaryotes, transcription occurs in the nucleus and translation occurs in the cytoplasm of eukaryotes. Ribosomes are 70S in prokaryotes and 80S in eukaryotes. 
sexual reproduction is very rare in prokaryotes. While most of the eukaryotes reproduce through sexual methods, prokaryotes may have pili and fimbriae, and these are absent in eukaryotes. Life cycle of prokaryotes is short. For example, the generation time of E. coli is 20 minutes, while the life of eukaryotes ranges from few minutes to several months or years. For example, generation time of yeast is 80 minutes. Summary. Let us recap what we have learned. The unicellular organisms which lack nucleus and membrane-bound organelles are called prokaryotes. Bacteria and blue-green algae are examples of prokaryotes. Eukaryotes are multicellular organisms containing well-defined nucleus surrounded by nuclear membrane. Protozoa, algae and fungi are examples of eukaryotes.